Well, today is year 10, day two. And it's no different than year one, day two. Absolutely. It's, it's a, there's no, it's as vivid in my mind as it was the day it happened. The eight day struggle, the day we sat there and held his hand when he passed away. It, I can remember every single second of it. The Marine Corps does not forget Jason. They teach and honor what he's done. Our crew here, they honor Jason with their actions. I don't have a lot to say. You know, the bottom line with all this is, is I lost my son. I, every day, every single day, I think about that. And every day I, I thank God that I got to be there and hold his hand when he was leaving because I know a lot of parents didn't. It's hard when you're a parent for somebody to forget that you have four children and, and to have somebody else say you only have three. We've actually had that happen where people say, well, you only have three. I have four. Well, we four. don't. We have four children. And I always will. I have thousands now that have been added to the list with, with the Marines and the Navy. I, I think some of our younger people have lost military history, history in general. These kids, they're going to be standing on this ship and they're going to go, wow. And then they're going to go back to the baseball field that Jason stood on and they're going to go, wow. He stood here. here. He, he was right where I was. He's one of us. That's Jason, you know. He was the kid that forgot to take out the garbage. He was the kid that made sure that somebody had somebody to sit with on the school bus. This is such a huge ship. It's a very, it's one of the Navy's toughest ships. And that's what Jason represented. And it's here to look out for the little guy. And that's what Jason did. So it's, it's he would think this is awesome. There are people that become dear to us just because we get to sit down and have a meal with them or maybe go out to dinner after everybody's off duty or something. They get to find out that we're real as much as we get to learn about them. And I guess the fact that they let us into their lives, that's a blessing for us. You can never fill the hole that's in our hearts, but the military's filled a void. a void that we've had and given us something to do. That's why we continue to come to the ship. We continue to try to do things for the military to help them in any way that we can. Because that's, that's what he would do.